Well, how do there, charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves. Got myself a lovely cup of tea, and we're going to be going through the patch notes for No Man's Sky Worlds Part 1. Oh my days, people. I've just played this live, hence why I've got my, my little counter just there. But obviously this isn't a live video, so I'll just take that off for a second. Oh my days, people. Jumping in and playing No Man's Sky Worlds Part 1 has breathed new life into the planet's the planets that I visited, some of them looked fairly similar to how they had looked before, but others, it just felt so much more organic, so much more alive. Freaking awesome, people. So, now that I'm going to be playing on my PC safe and playing through a lot of the story arcs that I haven't done, hopefully I'm going to see some of these new worlds. But anyway, people, let's get in. Let's read some of this. Update 5.0. So it did jump from version 4.72 to version 5 like I thought it might. Worlds transforms the universe into a richer, wilder and more varied and immersive place, featuring huge leaps in water and cloud visuals, increased planetary diversity, new gameplay features and more. The journey continues. They've outdone themselves. This is this is probably bigger than I thought it would actually be. And let's just hit on up the trailer. Obviously, I'm going to have to take the music out, but here we go. I'll try and do the work of um, voiceover lady. Universal refresh. Okay, can I actually make the actual quality? Probably not, actually. It's probably... Shadow improvements. <laughs> Look at all the floating islands. Water visuals. Like, yeah, this, is, this looks bloody awesome. Varied skies with volumetric clouds. Dynamic waves. So, yeah, when the wind picks up, the waves actually get more wavy davy. It's pretty darn freaking epic wind yes i experienced that after a curry no i experienced it in game bug hunt expedition yes you can even put their heads on your wall water landings yes you can get some you can get some tech that lets you land on water now yeah volumetric clouds vo water variety i mean look at all those planets in those flashes atmospherics nice it, it just looks beautiful it really does. Discovery renaming. Cool, yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. Walker battles. Yes, they've added in the energy bars like we thought they might. Heck yeah. So that's another thing that we managed to tick a box on. Solo ship crafting. Yeah, the solar wing ships. We can now sort of customize those. Another little tick there. Bug armor. Didn't see that one coming. Heck no. We saw that there was new bug recipes. But I thought that the bug recipes would come from the beetles already in game. I didn't realize we was going to get a whole new species of creature. So that's a bonus. That's a bonus and a half. That is. That's pretty darn freaking epic. Okay. All right. Done, dilly and done. Okay, let's scroll them down. Ha! A deep dive with Sean of the Murrays. This thumbnail looks a bit like mine with the red and white, doesn't it? It really does. Oh, well done. Well done on the lovely thumbnail there. <laughs> and the, and the book looks just like one of my thumbnails. Anyway, let's hit play. Let's have a little listen to a deep dive. Hopefully it hasn't got music in there that's copyrighted. Uh, maybe I could pause my Winamp on this one. Let's give it a go. Let's see if I can get away with it. With every update, we just want to surprise. That's some of my tea. New world. Wow. New gameplay. Freaking ace. <laughs> Way popped. New technology. The animations on them creatures looks good. I need to encounter some of them. We're eight years in now and we still just want to do really big things. Well, you definitely have done that. Planet of the Triffids. Plant creatures. That looks cool. Our next update is called Worlds Part One. I'm so proud of the team and the, the love they're pouring into it. Proud of you too, guys. Salute to Mondo for everything you've done. We are completely refreshing the universe with new technology, oh. new flora, new fauna, and new gameplay. That frost biome actually looked like it was worth a visit. I might have to go and visit that. In No Man's Sky, what you see on screen is generated by the computer. And we're achieving a, a level of variety 
that wow. just wasn't possible before. When we started No Man's Sky, uh, you know, I wanted people to feel like they had stepped into the cover of a science fiction novel. It does look more like that every single time there's an update. We had to create a lot of new technology. Sweet. New water technology can create waves and reflections, oceans. Looked so different to what we had before. That looks epic. Ocean planets feel completely new, and ships can now land on water. <laughs> land on water? The Jesus update confirmed. Six months ago, we announced Light No Fire. It's oh. this crazy, ambitious game. Any and new gameplay? We've been working on it for years, and we've learned so many things. And it feels like we're, we're almost bringing this technology back from the future. We thought they would do that, lift things that they've made for Light No Fire, and put it over Planets to No Man's wind Sky. Patterns. Waves are dynamic, and they react to the weather. My favourite oh. thing in the game might just be flying through the clouds and out into space. That is epic. Look at that. I like the floating islands clouds as well. Clouds for us are a unique challenge, right? You can see them from space. You can fly through them. You know, you can land on a planet and look up at the sky. That looks just like, like no fire. You get these fire. beautiful skies now with just tons of variety. Ah, oh, look at all the moss. Sometimes the a storm hits and, you know, the waves rise, the clouds gather. You've got the atmospherics, the wind, all this technology comes together all at wow. once. And there's nothing like it. On the surface of the planet, we've added these new volumetrics. And you get rolling fog, rain, blizzards, little sparks coming up from the lava. Okay. It changes how planets feel, you know? It just makes them feel alive. Yeah, more organic, more alive. More like the E3 trailer planets. Across these new biomes, we've added new creatures for you to discover. We're really trying to push wow. on the level of variety. It's not enough for us to just do more, you know, we want to create things that people haven't seen before. Expeditions have become a huge part of how folks play the game. Mm -hmm. Cool. And this new one is very sort of Starship Troopers inspired. <laughs> it's something really different. Cool. They'll be like hell divers. Awesome. Okay. It takes you on a tour of some of these cool new planets that we've added. Can't wait for the new expedition. Everyone is battling together. Progress is community driven. And the rewards are super cool. Super cool. Good summing up. Something I love is to browse the screenshots that people share with us. With these new wind effects, you're gonna get some awesome I can't wait pictures. for people to explore this universe we've made with fresh eyes. It looks gorgeous. Is this going to work on Nintendo Switch? Is it going to work on Xbox or the very first PlayStation 4? Is it? Or is it going to melt these consoles? This looks amazing. The update is called Worlds Part 1 because I guess there's there's much more to come. <laughs> you tease. Oh, what's going to be in Part 2? Have they saved the best till last? Is part one just a taste? Oh, I can't wait now. We've been spoilt with part one, but I can't wait for part two. Oh, my days, people. Let's hit play on the old Winamp. Let's bring that back in. Holy fudge. The Big Hunt Expedition, the Liquidators. Engage in galactic bug hunt in No Man's Sky's 14th community expedition. A vile brood is spreading. Corruption across the universe. Join the Liquidator Vanguard. Do your part and purge the rot from the stars. Hoo -hoo. So I wonder if we can just find these in game now. 
I found a rot infested planet. It had droids on it. I found one of those lovely archivey walking droids. I petted it. If you didn't see me play this update live, I'll put a video up there. Go here to start. Okay, report for duty alongside other travellers to liquidate biological horrors and host of giant insects in high-paced combat expedition full of custom balanced swarm combat. An exclusive selection of rewards await those that do their part in the war on the bugs, including mount mounted bug trophies. Okay, cool. A new poster and a complete set of organic armour parts forged from the bodies of the brood themselves. Oh, that's pretty darn lovely, isn't it? Hold on, he's got his arms crossed. Have we got new emotes as well that you haven't mentioned there, Sean? Let's continue down. Discovery renaming. Discovered systems, planets, flora, fauna and minerals can now be renamed at any time, even after uploaded. Hopefully by the person that actually found it, not just any old person, right? Yeah, I don't want other people coming and renaming my freaking discoveries. We'll have to have a play with that one. Could be why the dynamic servers have been down. Well, yeah. Okay. Dramatic new worlds. Planets across the universe have been transformed in wild and radical ways. Gravitational distortions have warped some lush and tropical worlds, shaken loose floating islands that now drift in the atmosphere above the planet's surface. Hop from rock to rock with a jetpack or starship, build bases in the sky, or simply marvel at the dramatic waterfalls that cascade down from the skies. We have waterfalls. I know they're not on the surface, but we have them on these floating islands. Oh my days, I want a floating island with waterfalls that I can build a little log cabin on. Oh, we need to find one of these for our like no sky, don't we? Our little um, event that we do in game, if you don't know what I'm on about, check it out. I can see my subscribers are going mental over there at the moment. Thank you everybody that's subscribing. It really does mean a great deal to me, especially since there's been a bit of a lull, a bit of a dip. Help my channel reach whatever it can reach you know it'd be nice it'd be nice to get somewhere close to 50,000 subs we're on 45,000 now but look at these they look freaking awesome oh and if you want to join us on light no fire just keep an eye out on my community tab we'll be sharing out how you go about doing that we're going to be looking for a new planet i imagine right now new volumetric clouds a total overhaul of the clouds brings vastly increased detail and definition the cloud system has been rewritten from the ground up to improve performance fix visual artifacts and introduce fine details such as wispy circus clouds and dark i did see dark clouds when we was uh, playing earlier rain laden nebulous clouds wow in addition cloud co coverage variety has been boosted varying significantly from planet to planet as well as over time and in response to local weather conditions Oh, that looks like something in a never-ending story when it's fight flying on Falcor. Like, yeah, coolio. Well, be butchering my eyes on looking at clouds for a while. Customized solar ships. The starship fabricator now supports the crafting of solar starships. Select and combine vast and array of unique components for cockpits, fuselages, wings, and sails, and design your dream solar ship. To be honest, solar ships are not my favourite. I think they're quite cool in VR where you can see the solar cells. But yeah. Not one of the ones that I'm sought out or searched for. I do have one in my repertoire of ships. We could do with more ship slots, to be honest, if we are going to be tinkering around with this sort of stuff. Oh, what's this? Before and after. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A bit more of a darker sort of shadowing going on there. Very nice. Shadows now have depth and realism. Coolio. I think you can kind of get the, the idea of that without me having to read all that. Well, let's scroll on down. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah, I need to find one of these planets riddled with bugs. I don't know whether it's just in the expedition or whether these are just out and about. High definition water, cool. An astonishing range of sights await explorers on watery planets as sea and oceans and lakes now ripple and sparkle with realistic wave formations and foam generation. Heck yes, as well as these living dynamic water conditions, a total overhaul of the water wendering technology also brings dramatic reflections and beautiful lit surface details. And that does look freaking awesome. That looks far superior than what we had before, it has to be said. I am pretty darn impressed. I need to know whether this is going to work on Switch without melting it. Okay, otherworldly life. Discover strange new creatures all across the universe. Bizarre floral hybrids stalk some planets, exploring their environments with stamen-like whiskers and petal-like faces. 
It's like Land of Triffids, isn't it? That's pretty darn freaking gnarly, has to be said. Bit different. I like all these like flowers that are about too. Very cool. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like they're limited to perhaps the lush planets as well. I'm going to have to land on a lot more lush planets. Full wind simulation. The wind system has been reworked, bringing planets to life with dramatic and constant weather. Leaves and grass rustle a gentle wind, while whole trees rock and sway during storms. Smoke effects, billowing dust clouds, rain and snow and other environmental effects will all go through the same wind system for an immersive and consistent exploration experience. I did see winds teetering in the wind on my live stream and I was like jaw on the floor for a couple of seconds. I was like, oh my days, am I actually seeing this? Am I imagining it? It was like, freaking awesome. And he's got his arms crossed again. I'm fairly sure we're going to get given an extra emoji or two. Dyma dynamic water. Bodies of water respond to the weather ranging from glassy lakes Turbulent oceans, depending on the stillness of the breeze and depth of the water, violent storms can generate dramatically choppy seas and huge waves. Oh, did you see that wave hit the shore there? I've just noticed how big the scroll bar is. It's behind me right now, people. We're not even quarter of the way down. What the actual flying fudge? This is huge. Liquidator combat mech. Carve through the toughest of enemies in a new heavy-duty mech suit. All those that do their part in the Liquidator's expedition will unlock these new combat focus components for the Minotaur. I didn't see these when we was up in the Nexus. I saw a beetle armor set. I didn't see these. Or did I? I was too excited. I'm going to have to watch my own stream back. As a community purged a vile brood from the universe, plans for these parts will become available at the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion for those unable to take part in the expedition. Oh, OK. Oh, so as we do stuff, the people that are unlocking stuff, it's going to unlock these as we go through. Right, so they're not available right now. They will appear as we go and do a bit inside of the expedition, like a community reward. Love it. OK, cool. Oh, yes, look, there's all these tiers at the top. That makes more sense. Oh, that's pretty darn cool. I like that as an idea. Coolio. Sub-Zero Worlds. Frozen Worlds have been transformed with ice-laden trees and glitty and glacial rocks. New planet surfaces as well with significant number of new flora and mineral formations bring new diversity to Sub-Zero planets. When I was scanning planets earlier, we saw a frost crystal world that had purple oceans. I was so tempted to go look at it. I should have done. Oh, it looks like they've been overhauled drastically. I'm going to have to look at a few frost biomes. Frost biomes were by far my worst biome, but it looks like they've been given a bit of love and it's long overdue. Oh, wow, look at these palm fronds on the desert world as well. They look pretty darn cool. Imagine when the wind hits them. I think they're going to look gnarly. Desert diversity. Biodiversity of sand sweat planets has been expanded with large feather fronged palms adoring the horizon of some worlds. Lovely. OK, cool. Looks like I'm just going to have to visit every freaking planet, especially now we've got new sky colours. Step deeper into 1970s sci-fi fiction planet with a wide, wide range of sky colours, including some especially rare hues for dedicated explorers to discover. I found one. Yeah, so one of my old abandoned planets where I've got like a little base out there. The sky on that looks freaking amazing. Oh, thank you, bit. Biscuit Flash for subscribing. Loads of new subscribers rolling in, people. Thank you very much. Salute them on there. Scrolling down, Insect Armor Set. OK, complete the Liquidator's Expedition to earn a full body of set of organic armor. Embrace the aesthetics of the vile brood. Flaunt the evidence of their undoing with this chitinous gauntlet spurs, mandibles and exoskeleton. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. That does look pretty darn cool. There's a choice of two different heads by the looks of thing. Oh, three different heads. Very nice. Nice cup of tea. Oh, and even the legs as well. Lovely. Well, he had. there was another head there that isn't featured down here. So it looks like there's all sorts. I mean, look, that's got antennae facing forwards. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You look like insectors. I used to have these toys called insectors where you, you can have like spiders on your hand and stuff. It looked really cool. Anyway, here we go. Oh, that's a cool planet, isn't it? I haven't come across anything like that before. It looks like exploration has now gone up a notch. I'm going to have to be revisiting a lot of planets. Engine enhancements. Many underlying systems have been reworked for improved visuals. 
okay, coolio, and increased performance. Rendering of environmental objects such as trees, rocks, grass has been moved to a GPU based system, allowing for denser world with increased performance. Planetary fauna and minerals and curiosities have been improved levels of detail from further distance and broader range of angles. Terrain generation has been rewritten to incorporate dual ma mashing of cube vortex or meshing, increasing load speed, improved frame rate and saving memory. I did have one point in game where I, I logged back out to the main title, then went to load back into the game and it froze on a white screen for a while before it then kicked back in and that was on my PS5. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this sounds all good, but I have seen a little bit of struggling on PS5. So we'll see how last gen handles it. Right there, scrolling down. New interaction labels, hey. Labels for interaction destructible objects in the universe have been restyled and made more responsive, providing critical information without obscuring the view. So that was before. Okay, all right. And that's after. Okay, so instead of it having a line and an out. Oh, that's before. Now that's after. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Cool. Lovely. Beetle diversity. A wide variety of new insect-like creatures can now be discovered scuttling across the universe. While some of these alien insects are hostile, many species are gentle and peaceful beings. Study their natural patterns, harvest in their nourishing slime, or adopt them as companions. We need more companion slots. I had to get rid of one of my favourite companions, a giant hippo earlier, in favour of a, a droid mech. But I want a beetly friend. Oh, it's a little scorpion one. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, my days. Okay, all right, well, we've found... Oh, pets. Oh, um, Miyogi's going to love this. Miyogi, new pets, mate, for your emporium. Freaking lovely. Okay, we're well, scrolling down. Loads and loads of new pets there. Heck yes. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. That's awesome. Okay. Dramatic storms. Exploring a planet during blizzards or, or thunderstorms is more exhilarating than ever. New ambient effects, new atmos atmospheric fog, combined with wind response particle effects to create dramatic storms that sweep across the planet's surface. Oh my days. There's going to be some amazing photos rolling out, and amazing little video segments, and amazing gameplay from all of this, isn't there? Twitch drops! Twitch drops are coming! Okay, cool. Everybody that's on Twitch is going to love this. Myself, I don't really stream to Twitch. I've got a, I've got a Twitch account. I just watch. I don't, I don't actually stream over there. I'm all YouTube. Walker battles are now framed by detailed combat HUD, indicating tangible vulnerabilities of these Sentinel units. Freaking boss bars. Okay, that's going to be more impactful, isn't it? That's going to be more fun. All right, I like it. Love it. Coolio, I do like the look of this new mech. It's got like a Cylon type look to it, hasn't it? <laughs> Coolio, Chitin flight pack. New jet pack is available. Came from the liquidators. Okay, so we're going to get this new Chitin flight pack. I don't know how much I like this Beetle armor set, to be fair, but you know, it's there. Be nice if they add in a chitin race, wouldn't it? You know, we just had the autophages. They could add in chitin as well, couldn't they? Add in another alien race, that'd be cool. Now, a lot of people have pointed out to me before in the past where you see the exomech walking across a planet and the planet changes underfoot. Well, Hello Games has always been able to do that with that actual um, their HUD. They've shown their HUD before, even pre-launch. They showed their, how their creature system works and how their meshing system works on the planet. And they showed how they changed the biome just on the fly, just inside of their actual engine. So I didn't think we was going to get multiple biomes in that way. But I was wondering whether we might get multiple biomes to the north and south divide of the planet and maybe a free biomed planet structure. Who's to say it might not come in future? Who's to say it might not come in part two? But all this is freaking awesome. Really is cool, isn't it? Strange nutrients. And here's all the things that we managed to data mine. Musical McDonuts. Okay. Must mackle. Oh, whatever. Yeah, all sorts of new cooking things. Lovely. This is one of the new frost biomes. It looks really quite cool. I'm hoping that they add in icy caves, maybe even ice sheets floating on the water. You know, like icebergs and stuff. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Living buildings. What? Okay. Very rare insectors where the anomaly 
field is strongest, planetary buildings have evolved legs and transformed themselves into sentient con constructs that roam across the landscape. I found one of these in my live stream. I petted it. I have one of these as a pet. I would like to find a red and white one if I possibly can, like one of those, to be fair. I like these round ones. I like these round ones. So I might have to ditch my pet that I got and find one of those round ones. That'd be cool. A red and white round pet, I guess. Aquatic landing jets. I've installed these into my ship. I could already land on water, I guess. Very cool. Awesome. It's going to be good whenever we've got a mission out at sea. You don't have to go and find an island and swim half a mile. Nice. Skylight base parts. I guess found these inside of the base terminus inside of my live stream as well. Pretty nice. Up to now, I've been adding um, stairways in there to let the light in. But it's nice now that we've got some actual glass panels. Very cool. Atmospheric variety. I mean, we've, we've seen all this in up, up, up above, but it's nice to see it sort of reiterated again. So the weather is really impactful now. The way that the trees sway, the way that the waves are cast, it's it's made the planets feel more organic, more alive. And I'm fairly sure I'm going to be looking for a new sort of home world, a place to put a base, a place that's got amazing sort of organic sort of life and feeling to it. But for now, I think I'm going to be looking for a planet for light, no sky, the little event that we do inside a game. Vile Insect Queens. A vile brood of insect has begun to infest planets across the universe, find and destroy their grubs, and then confront the heart of the hostile swarm, their huge hideous brood mothers. These colossal lumbering bugs are heavily armoured, and will challenge even the most experienced exterminators with devastating spit attacks. It does feel like pretty much hell divers has just come to no man's sky. Pretty darn lovely. Quality of life, significant number of quality of life features have been improved throughout the game. The docking tractor beam at the space stations and freighters is now smoother. Reloading can be interrupted and quickly cycle weapon modes. Refiners can now be quickly filled with entire stacks of items. Core technology can instantly be repaired from the quick menu. The range of analysis visor target sweep has been dramatically improved and much more. See the full patch notes for more details. Well, I hope we can turn in cooking items to Kronos in batches of 10s, 50s and 100s rather than one. Because that is just so tedious. Oh, here we go. New gestures. Express yourself with four new animated gestures. Browse the quick menu and get poised for action. Ponder the landscape. Fold your arms in readiness or burst into an energetic dance. Haha. <laughs> that was like someone on my cloud, on my short chair dancing I do at the end of stream. Yeah, if you haven't seen the end of stream, I usually do little dances at the end. Ha! Bust a move. Heck yes. Oh, I like that. It's like a superhero pose. I like that. I'm going to be using that a lot. Oh, that's cool as well. Just hands on hips. But there was one crossed arms. I'd imagine that's the fourth one. Okay, coolio. Lovely. Spectacular underwater bases. Build cozy aquatic hideouts on lavish underwater lairs and enjoy improved views of the waterline. Eh, nice idea. Okay, we've got DLS improvements for NVIDIA graphics cards. I've actually invested in AMD technology, so I guess this isn't going to do too much for me. And to be honest, a lot of this stuff that improves, like the pixels and things, once the video goes on YouTube, it, it really, you really see the pixels. I've, I've turned it all off on my AMD tech. Right, anyway, Vile Brood Nexus Mission. Oh, we've got a new Nexus Mission. The Observers aboard the Space Anomaly regret the spread of the vile brood across the universe their queens and grubs disturbing the delicate balance of the local ecosystems they request that travelers band together and cull these invasive species and restore balance to nature group up with friends and strangers at the nexus and sign up for this new mission we got a new mission to kill bugs lovely i'll be checking that out for sure because hopefully it'll take you straight to one of those planets noxious wells venture to into totally unexplored toxic climates these new wells have horizons alive with alluring but poisonous flora okay cool why the ground underneath your feet bubbles and oozes with living slime oh cool that does look pretty darn sweet okay well hopefully we'll find some of these planets by doing that new mission colossal insect trophies decorate your living space with bug hunter tr trophies earned by those who do their part in the liquidators expedition oh i like it 
freaking awesome. I was kind of thinking that, you know, the Viking space stations, I was expecting the Viking space stations to be adorned with stuff like this, you know, heads of creatures from planets. That'd be quite cool. Hunger and Tendril Encounters. Test your skill against the pumped up Hunger and Tendrils. Ah, you've made them tougher, have you? About time. There are many mouths. Crave the soft flesh of travellers and will now spit acidic projectiles when fighting at range. Your progress in these challenging fights is now tracked through a detailed combat HUD. Interesting. I have to check that one out. Thank you, Jesse Curley, for just subscribing. Very good of you. Irradiated landscape. Delve into the twisted forest of the new radioactive environments. Basically, every single planet type. We've seen frost, we've seen, we've seen the fungal, we've seen this one, and also the lush. Just look at every planet, people. Look at planets with fresh eyes. It seems that every single planetary biome has had a little bit of an uplift, a little bit of extra depth, a little bit of extra variety. A little bit more organic livability and believability. It's like the whole game has just been breathed a new life. The whole universe, like they said, has been un totally uplifted. Insectoid headwear. So there we go. There's loads of different heads there. Look at them. Looks like something out of Giva. You remember the Giva? Freaking awesome. Okay, well, I might have a play. I might have one on my save slot for Halloween or something. But I can't see myself rocking a bug look for long, you know? Pretty cool, though. Pretty lovely. Okay, cool. Let's scroll on down. Minotaur flamethrower. I wish they would give us the incinerator for travellers. You know, ages ago they were accidentally put into game. I've got an incinerator module inside of my multi-tool. I can use a flamethrower. It'd be cool if we could get that for actual players, but to have it on the Minotaur is pretty cool as well. But I think this is for people that take part in Liquidator, but also uh, then appears as a reward after the expedition for those that don't want to do the expedition, which I think is pretty cool. Burnt Worlds. So this is like, you know, the Scorched Ones. This is the only biome that I hadn't mentioned so far. But it looks like they've been lifted and shifted and added. Nice! Ash in Dusted Atmospheres. Cool. What would be nice to see is the actual swamp biomes being given a bit of love. Because most of them have got those giant tree stumps all over them. And the Lava Worlds as well. They need to have their own materials on, their own mats. Look at these twisty turny plants in the distance. Aren't they cool? All right, I might have to, like I said, I'm going to have to just look at every freaking planet. Nights are now more varied than ever with greater range of sky, lighting and colours and darkness levels. I saw a lot more glowing flora on a planet. The planet that I saved off on on my live stream, when it turned to night, as I was shutting down, it looked awesome. Blossoming mega flora. New lush worlds have bloomed into life. Discover idyllic garden planets flourishing with exotic alien flowers. Perfect for exploration, discoveries and construction of beautiful new bases. Ah, oh, that does look quite cool. A garden planet. Look at those things floating in the air. They're not islands. They look like bundles of flowers or something floating in the sky. Pretty cool. Oh, my days. No Man's Sky has just had a facelift and a half, hasn't it? And there's all the patch notes right there, people. Holy mackerel. All right. There's a lot there. There's a lot to go through. But there we are. I've given you everything I think you need to know. So there we are, people. Hopefully, hopefully that's got you pretty darn freaking excited. I know I'm excited. I've already played the update. I think it looks amazing on my PlayStation 5. I'm waiting for it to come out on PC. Give it an install there, hit it up, turn on the volumetric clouds. The clouds looked okay on PlayStation 5, but I imagine they're gonna look majorly awesome on the old PC that I've built, heck yeah. Till next time, people, thank you for joining me. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.
subscribe. Let's hit that.